Hi, my name is Kendra Plant, and in January, I'm going to be eating a plant-based diet um, for Veganuary, which is vegan and January combined into one word. Um, hashtag Veganuary. Look it up on social media. Veganuary. <laughs> tell your friends. <laughs> Um, so what I'm doing is I'm speaking to my friends about their vegan lifestyles and I'm looking for resources and so today I'm going to talk to my friend Hector and I'll have you introduce yourself um, but I just wanted to learn a little bit about Sorry. <laughs> why you became a vegan and um, things that you've learned. Um, so would you like to introduce yourself? Always. Hello. Hector Chavarria, known as the Big A Mexican. Tell your friends. <laughs> Um, and I'm a performance artist around town, a brand ambassador for Sulcana Fitness, and a vegan. <laughs> and I've been vegan for about three years now, mm -hmm. so it's been, it's been a journey. And so why did you become a vegan? What was your motivation? Uh, I became a vegan to be more healthy. Um, so four or five years ago, I started this weight loss journey, um, and I've managed to lose about 132 pounds, roughly. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight, yes. And um, veganism actually has helped. Um, but I mean, I it's it's it was a long journey. Like, I started as a carnivore, and then I became a pescatarian, which I just cut out meat and chicken. And then eventually I cut out fish and became a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I cut out dairy. And now I'm just full-blown vegan. And um, I mean, it's, it's been hard, um, primarily because I now cook more and I don't really go to restaurants as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't eaten Taco Bell in like four years, and trust me, that was... <laughs> That was rough. <laughs> you know, I loved Taco Bell. Bean burritos were, like, my thing. And um, and McDonald's fries also. So I haven't eaten McDonald's in years as well. But uh, surprisingly, enough, McDonald's fries are not even vegetarian. <laughs> just just no. It is surprising. Not. The thing that I'm learning, too, during Veganuary is how much meat and uh, animal products are in just food that you would think, uh, yeah. it's not like wine, like. Oh my God, yeah, some wine has like a fish product. Some beer has like some sort of like fish product as well. Yeah. So not all beer is vegan. Right. It's <sighs> surprising and shocking how they sneak it in. <laughs> it's depressing really, but yeah. whatever. So um, when you first started out, there were some road bumps along the way. How did you, how did you deal with those? Were there resources that you used or? people that you talk to um, yeah I mean I had I mean I already had some friends that were vegan so I mean I talked to them and it was a lot of just online research I really did do a lot of online research and yeah. just did like a whole trial and error type of thing mm -hmm. where um, I would just try just different recipes and stuff and I would um, I would take breaks like I would be like there were moments that I'd be vegan for like a week and then I'd go back and like maybe eat some eggs and then I would go vegan for like maybe like three weeks and then go back to like eating some sort of like, pro, like, you know, cheese. Actually, cheese was the one that, yeah. oh my God, getting rid of cheese was really hard. Pizza is a thing that I don't eat anymore. Um, so that was, uh, that was very difficult. But I think what really helped me the most is that I didn't really, um, I wasn't really hard on myself. So like if I, you know, eat, ate something that wasn't vegan. I, you know, wasn't like mad at myself. I, you know, didn't, you know, I just let it go and, you know, moved on and just, and I think that's what you kind of have to do. Like you kind of just have to take it slow. Like going like full blown vegan, like cold turkey <laughs> is rough. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, so, yeah, I I have also eaten vegan like on and off for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so this isn't my first time uh, riding the vegan train. So I have lots of tools in my tool belt <laughs> for, my, on the vegan for my for my vegan January, right? Um, so, but um, I think that 
Um, some people can just, just become a vegan right away and they just, they know that's for them and they're done with everything. And then, uh, for some people, maybe they don't even become a full vegan, but they just move to a more plant-based diet right, right, and they incorporate right, yeah. more vegetables and, and nuts and seeds and right. healthy food, healthy yeah. whole food into their diet. Yeah. Because that's the other thing too, because your body kind of feels different when you start eating like less of what you've been normally eating. I mean, like sometimes you just, you feel like crap, like your body body feels like it's breaking down but in reality it's not it's just kind of like it's just it feels something that it hasn't felt before you know or it's like lacking something that you know that it hasn't lacked in a while lacked did I just say lacked I did anyway <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> So um, I guess um, for those people who are thinking about trying Veganuary or Meatless Monday, oh my God, or <laughs> something um, where they're 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 changing their habits and moving their diet um, to be more where they want it to be, do you have any tips or suggestions? Yeah, take it slow. Like like I said before, like <laughs> cold turkey is not the way to go. Um, I like the, what you said, vegan Mondays. That actually might be a thing where mm -hmm. you're vegan on Mondays. Um, or maybe, I mean, if that's too easy for you, maybe like two days out of the week you're vegan. But also like if you, like if you can't help it and you eat something that's not vegan, like if you eat a cookie that's not vegan, then, you know, move on, eat the cookie, enjoy it, don't feel bad about it. But just know that it's not vegan for the next time. Right. It's and a that, learning experience. It's a learning experience. And also, when you buy food, make sure you read labels because there is, there's a lot of stuff oh that isn't vegan yeah. that you would think. Yeah. And there's a lot of tools online that are helpful for that. So far, my advice has been um, get, get with your friends. If you know somebody who's a vegetarian or a vegan or somebody who wants to try a new life, a lifestyle change with you, um, connect with them because I think one of the things that both Hector and I have talked about is how our friends have influenced our own behavior. So, um, you know, I'm more likely to um, eat well and exercise when my friends are doing it. And the sa yeah. it's the same with um, eating vegan. So that's my advice to you. Yeah. And also, if you can afford it, uh, seeing a nutritionist is actually a good idea. Yes. But again, if you can afford it, because you know doctors are expensive. Yes, but there are resources, and and do do see a doctor too. Um, everybody should be getting their checkups. Right, I agree. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, yeah. um, and um, good luck if you're um, going to be trying Veganuary. Veganuary. Woo!